Hi everybody, welcome to uh, Wednesday Impromptu Monkey Island Madness. I'm just going to quickly try and draw a damask today. It's, um, it's one of Rachel's prompts. And I think I've got it sized accurately. Um, oh my god, you're staying up all night again, Heather. You are a crazy woman. Anyway, this is a, a live show taped over at Ustream TV. Um, and I am talking to a live audience, so um, I do upload these to YouTube, so you, most of you are probably watching on YouTube. Um, well, good, Norma. I'm glad. Um, the other day when we got together, I finished my green reprompt, and um, I colored these butterfly stickers with, um, well, a combination of the Hoo Hoo Hero and the Chameleon Markers and I figured out that the chameleon, you can turn any alcohol marker into a chameleon or acting like a chameleon with just a colorless blender. So put the colorless blender on the top, kiss them together and you get the same results. So that was kind of nice to learn and that was probably all I learned. So anyway, I'm going to use a graph because I'd like to draw this damask today. Um, as accurately as I could, right? And when I do the, you know, pictures that I want as accurate as possible, I will put a grid on there so that I can check myself, right? I try not to use the grid very much, but I think it's a great way to learn to draw. So, if you're trying to learn to draw, do not be afraid, um, to use a grid. Um, Pretty soon, your eyes don't see the grid anymore. It, it just works out really good. If you want, okay, this happens to be a quarter inch grid that I'm using on the actual design. You can have this grid be as big as you want. But if you want to resize this, then draw the um, squares on your paper bigger, smaller, whichever. So you can resize up or down. Um, depending on the size grid that you put on your original paper. So, um, because I don't have, you know, it's a 6x6. Six six. That's the prompt requires that it's 6x6. Six six. Um, and this design right now is measuring just over 4 by 4 by 5, which for this piece of paper will be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, you know, and another thing I could do um, is I could put this on my light table and just copy it, but I don't want to because this is a challenge for myself, right? So I'll draw the quarter inch grid, and if I knew I was doing this today, I probably would have already had this part done so you don't have to watch me do this because, yeah. And actually, I should put it on. I think I will before I do all this. this. I have a cutting mat that has the quarter inch grids already sized out for me. I'll just use it. Save us all a little bit of time. The rat is making breakfast in the background, so you might hear him, and that's cool. It's his house. He can eat breakfast if he wants. Now, this is really weird because this paper is supposed to be six inches wide. Let me show you guys. This is really weird. So I should be st oh crap! I knew that was going to happen. Um, if I line one edge of this paper up on one of these lines, I should be coming out at another line, and I don't. So that's kind of caca. That's all right. We'll work around it doesn't have to be perfect just close because I'm only going to draw one side of the design and then I'm going to show you how to um, flip it over and do the other side of the design exact like it is so that's so weird that these lines are not really quarter inch apparently oh well 
So anyway, for those of you who weren't at Dee Dee's or who haven't watched Twitter, I did talk to Eileen last night. Um, she's doing good. Um, I mean, she's exhausted, and I could hear it in her voice that she was just so exhausted, poor thing. And um, they're running tests today on her mother. So hopefully, hopefully she'll call me this evening and tell me, you know, that either what's going on, hopefully it's something minor that they can fix right away. Because she's been over to the rehab clinic twice now and they've sent her back to the hospital for just little things um, that are, you know, coming up. Of course, she's 92, so that stands to reason, I guess. Um, I kind of have the impression that her mom's not ever really been sick. So I think this is kind of new for both of them. But yeah, I think another thing that's worrisome is when you don't know, you know, it's almost, and I know this from having dealt with Robert, after you know what you're up against, it's doable, you know, like, but it's the not knowing that'll make you cuckoo. So hopefully they'll find something today um, that's easily treatable. So, um, you know, Minky, Eileen is doing well. Um, she still has her goofball sense of humor. I mean, it wasn't just a horrible conversation. I mean, we still laughed and stuff. You know, she's doing okay. I think part of it is she's just so exhausted and, you know, naturally worried. But, um, you know, she, yeah, no, she's she's good. She just needs to stay rested and then not having a car, not being able to come and go when she wants. Um... I'm sure is a big hassle for her too, so, um, hi Mac, exactly Mac, yeah, it's, um, it's the not knowing, and her mom had been in pain, not from the hip, from whatever else was going on, um, she was retaining fluid real bad, her bladder was distended, so, um, after they got that taken care of, at least she quit complaining about the pain, you know, because they couldn't figure out why, why she was in so much pain and not hungry. She wasn't eating very much, so, you know, and, and anybody who's dealt with medical stuff knows it's not always just one thing and one thing leads to another and, yeah. I think what worries me... Um, I'd like to think that everybody who walks into a hospital door would get the same level of care, but I really worry as you get older, I'm not sure that they give you the same level of care that they do younger people. Now that could just be in my head, but that's still what I think. So, anyway, yeah, no, but she was doing good, um, and I, I hope I talk to her tonight. I don't want to call her all the time, because um, she does have a niece that lives somewhat nearby, because she said her niece had come down again. So, she's not all alone. Most of the time, I think she is, but um, she's got good neighbors. So, and this will be close enough for government work. You don't, um, you're in the UK, right, Joan? I don't know. It, yeah, I don't know. I could go on a whole dissertation. Oops, that one I really goofed up. About care, the level of care in a hospital. 
But another thing that kind of worried me is even when she was at the rehab center, they weren't necessarily getting her up and walking. And with that fractured hip at her age, it's imperative that they do that. Or at least get her sitting up. So, another nap. Hmm. Sad in this case, every person is different. I'm going to get a Samuel check, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, really? Where are you at, Mac? Um... What Max said in chat was her dad is no longer getting his annual check on some precancerous esophagus because he's been told he's too old. Once you reach 60, they don't want to know here. See that? I, I've never actually been told that by a, a medical professional, but I've always suspected it just based on... Um, my own experiences with elderly people in hospitals. So the moral of the story is when you go into the hospital, dye your hair, get rid of all your gray, um, and lie about your age. <laughs> okay, Robert? Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to do with you from now on, you old fart. I can't say anything because he is in Coventry near our lovely Dr. Dot. Oh, okay. Now I think I have, um, I don't need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, yeah, I've lost the image, so i got to go back and and find it. <laughs> Should pop right back up when I search. Oh, that's weird, Dorothy. Yeah, well, you kind of have your hands full with your sister as well. Um... Oh, it came back up exactly. So, all right, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Where I'm going to move the image off. I'll just put it up and let you guys see it periodically. Because um, otherwise, the um, the screen, the light from the screen, is going to make the colors on the. Um, oh my gosh! It did it again. Uh. Now I'm getting a little testy, probably because I'm handling it. I don't think it has a timeout or anything. And again, I don't like drawing on directly onto the table, so I'm going to try and find something. Here. Yeah, this will be fine. The white isn't that great either, frankly, but all right. At least I'm set up now. Hi, Jean. Oddly, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Reveal. Yes, please. Okay. This actually is my center. Okay, I'm going to start from the center because I want the whole piece centered. Um. I'm growling like Jean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's good, Jean. 
Um, let's see. Okay, so now I know kind of where my center is, and I, um, on my original that I'm copying off of, I'll do the same thing. I'll find the center point on here. I kind of think I know where it is, but um, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14, 16, 18, 20. 22. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's it's going to come out to be just exactly this size. That is really weird. So, um, well, yeah, duh. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> If you're going to make me a cup of coffee, why would you ask if I want it hot? Unless, of course, you're going to put ice in it. Hi, Nettie. Uh. Alright, so the easiest way to do this, I think, is going to be to measure this. This is four. So I've got an inch on each side. And I know I measured this before, but I already forgot. And that's five. So I'm going to come down a half an inch and in a full inch. And I'm going to start drawing at this point right here. But I'm only going to draw one half of it. Okay? So let me pull you guys back over here. I'm going to start at the point and start drawing. And when I draw, I'll get quiet, so um because I'm watching and paying attention, so... Sometimes I lose myself, so I have to stop and go back and find where I'm at. You Thank go. you, honey. You're welcome. He really is a good egg, despite what I say when the when he's not around. Hi, cat. Want a warmed up rope? No, I'm good, thank you. Yum, yum. All right. It would help if I could see, too. Not being able to see is a pain in the butt. Okay, I did that right. That one. That one's coming across the corner. Down to about halfway.
Alright, and the nice thing is you only have to draw half of it. I like to say the rat will be done eating soon, but he may not. He may just graze all day long. Alright, I kind of lost myself here for a second, so let me find myself. I know it's hard to tell what I'm doing. He's going to pull an Eileen now. Wouldn't it have been easier to do this on squared paper than just trace transfer your drawing? Oh, it might have been, but I'm just going to do it all right on here. Because, well, okay. Yeah, you'll see in a minute. This one is the 05. Um, I have the 05, the 07, and the 03. Um, I would not buy the 03 again. I thought I would like that really, really thin lead. It's just, maybe I pushed too hard or something, um, but yeah, the lead is just crumbling. Um, but I do, I love these graph gears. I love the, the weight of them. Yeah, I love everything about them. I saw some really, really nice pencils, though, in um, Oz, too, but man... They were pricey. But how many mechanical pencils do you need, right? Same number of craft your pencils as you need pens in my world, I guess. I just meant rather than draw your own grid first. If Eileen was here, she would have been having a conniption fit. She probably would have. Um, but this is the way I've always done it, where I draw my own grid. And um, the thing about drawing your own grid is, you know, I'm not even sure that I have quarter-inch grid paper. But you size the grid so that the finished art is the size that you want it, right? Eileen has conniption fits over everything, so I don't worry about that. Um, but that's one of the reasons you would draw your own grid, is so that you... Um, would you quit? <laughs> God. Just a bullfrog. Whatever, Robert. <laughs> Some of you single ladies are going, thank God I don't have to put up with an idiot like that. And I'd have to say, I hear you, man. I don't know what keeps making that noise. It might It's something new, so it might be this tablet. This is Robert's tablet, actually. Alright, that's that.
Okay, Heather is laughing my ass off, Robert. Heather, all I have to say to you is <coughs> do not encourage him. <coughs> this is why Thank I you, love what we do. <laughs> I am too darn idle. <clears throat> Hi, Lynn. Just a bullfrog. Oh, my gosh. Do not encourage him, you guys. So good to have you and Robert back as normal. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. It's a good thing he's nice otherwise. That's all I got to say. All right, it's actually back here. I'm pretty sure he's going to go out and work here in a minute. <laughs> right, Robert? You what? I said, chances are you're going to go out and work here in a minute. Right, Robert? Yes, you are. Uh, <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> you just don't know it yet, but yes, you are. <laughs> I'm going to stay in here and pick the cake. No, you. you're going to have to go find something to do. Do you have materials to work today, you know? Oh, and the sprinkler guy should be here this morning. Should be. So you could be out there digging that hole and helping him out. Mm. <laughs> That's why I called him because I didn't want to dig it. I hear you, and I didn't want you digging it, honestly. All right, so let's see it. Not at that corner, but about halfway over. Now I may be off here because the way I had this planned, my curly cue should be ending right there. So let me count over. We missed you while you were gone. I miss you guys too. <clears throat> Is the mower going to bother you? No, you can mow away. I'd much rather put up with a mower sound than a burp right here in our face. I'd much rather have the mower so sound than a burp in our face. That was probably the grim one. <laughs> Go out and mow. Because we might have storms later. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting nothing done here because I'm having to deal with a rat. All right, let's go back and, and figure Bye, out where we're at. He's officially been chased out. Ask me if I feel bad. <clears throat> no, not even a little. Let me go back up and figure out where I'm here. Mr. Superstar, whatever. Now he's knocking at the window at me. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. An idiot is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. An idiot. I should have answered that and jacked with the dumbass on the other end, but... Too much stuff going on. Yeah, he's out. Um, he's going to mow. That's a good thing for him to do. So he doesn't annoy me anymore. All right, let's see where we're at here. He got me all goofed up now. He does that. All right, I need to come over to here. All right, that's where we're at. <laughs> All right, we're back on track. Back on track. Mm -hmm. 
And there comes a point in the design where you can just go ahead and fill it in like your brain just will go ahead and do that correctly. <laughs> All right, so from here. And a lot of times if I'm drawing a circle, I'd rather just um, get a template out. Um, hi, kangaroo, babe. All right, so I'm down to this point right here. I've got most of that drawn now down to here. I'll do this flourish out here next. And this is the one where it was like, wait a minute, I'm too far out. And I may still be too far out. This something about this doesn't feel right, so... I'm going to double check it. If I got this off centered, I'm going to be so pissed. You, oh, you missed the Robert interaction. Well, Robert, he what? just came back. He's like a bad penny. He keeps coming back. Say hi to Norma, please. Hi, Norma. We're actually going to meet her in real life. In when? You in and I. I. We just don't know when. Oh. But she lives over in Branson. Oh, really? And I told her we'll be coming over there because I want a new quilt for the bed and we need to get you out of here because you're starting to act like this. And you should see the grin on his face right now. Just like, acting like what? So, someday soon, maybe go over and see Ronnie and Mitha. Okay. Okay. Look at how agreeable he is. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm like a whole square off here, so I've either goosed something up. I don't know. Don't know. But Norma, we will be heading that way at some point. Let's see. If From that point, let me just count. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm off a whole square, so. But the cool thing is... Um, if I'm off on one side and I'm going to trace it onto the other, I'll be the same on each side, so it won't matter, right? Now he's out there. And he's got his four-wheeler going, which means he's going to get the mower. All right. Here we go. It's easier for me to draw that. I think, I think. Sometimes if you feel like the grid is making it too hard, just start by give the grid up and just draw it. Because the grid really is just a guideline. Um, And I haven't decided um, what I'm going to do 
to make it unique or different. I'm not just going to do this on the page. I'm going to either fill it in. I thought what I'd like to do is um, fill it in with little tiny circles. I love circles too. So I haven't decided yet about that, but I will be deciding that soon. Because, yeah, I, I just don't know um, how I'm going to finish it and use it. Okay, there, where I started on one edge and had a line over here, and now I can visualize how they're going to match up. I don't use the grid. I go ahead and just draw it in. And I think that's, when you use the grid method, that's how your brain starts just ignoring the grid and recognizing what you want to do to finish it, you know? And then I will periodically um, check the grid. To make sure my spacing and whatnot is correct. But yeah, at this point I'm I'm almost ignoring the grid. And I know Mac Eileen would be saying, Well then why'd you draw the damn thing to begin with? Cause I wanted to. And plus, if you guys aren't familiar with learning to draw this way, um that was another reason I thought that I wanted to go ahead and and do it to show you guys how to draw with a grid. Um, because all of those, um, Inktober drawings, well, not all of them, but a lot of them, I start doing this way. I start with a grid, with a grid over the, the original art that I'm copying off of, and kind of get an idea of, um, how big it's going to be, etc., etc., and then um, you know let my brain go ahead and take over and draw and, and I am a firm believer that it's a good way to draw if you don't have the innate ability like Dee Dee you know Dee Dee obviously has innate ability that I don't think the rest of us really have I could be wrong but that's just my feeling And my spacing may not be exact, whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. See, I'm already getting down here at the bottom, and i got to have this all done by there. So, I have my spacing may be way off. I don't know. How do you get the grid on the image on the tablet? attempting to reach you on your cellular device. All right, do we want to jack with somebody? is attempting to reach you on your cellular device. Let's just see who it is. Hello? 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 He didn't want to talk to me, and he was somebody who didn't even speak English. Oh, I love talking to those people. Call back, please. <laughs> um, yeah, to get the grid on the tablet, um, I have used a sheet of acetate, but you can use a sheet protector. Um, I'll just show you one that I have over here. Well, I have several. Because if you say, for example, you cut an um, um, image out of a magazine or something, just take a sheet protector. I like the real clear acetate, so, um, but this is just a regular old sheet protector, right? that I just grew or drew a quarter inch grid on. And so if there's something, I'll just grab some junk mail here. If there's something on here that I want to draw, just, oh, I'll pull you guys out. Just slide it in the sheet protector, line it up, and, um, and draw away. You could get the perspective of that box exactly right if you used a grid if you're using with the um, quarter inch grid on it. So I have quarter inch. Um, here's a bunny that was already in here. 
Now this one, I know I resized because I drew him, actually ended up drawing him in the beast. This is a half an inch grid. There's another quarter inch. And there's an inch. And so on this one, you can just grab something. These are all political ads. God, I'm sick of them. But anyway, um, grab whatever you're going to draw, stick it in there, line it up. And you can have grids of any size. So all you need is some sheet protectors or clear acetate. Right? Right. And I don't know how this spacing got so goofed up. Because at this point I should be... Um... Really, I don't know how this got so goofed up because I measured it. I measured it. Try it. I mean, when you do this, you will be shocked because that's at five inches. That's at five inches. Well, hello, this should be. Oh, you know what? I just figured it out. This is a 3 16th inch grid, not a quarter inch. Now that's something you need to watch for, but I'm just going to go ahead and finish this out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this one because it doesn't really matter. I'll go ahead and turn this into the circle right here. And this will be the end right there. Um, and I'll use the flourish um, off here to go ahead and finish it. Now I'm not using the grid anymore. I'm not using the um, tablet at all. I'm just going to go ahead and finish the drawing myself because, yeah, I goofed up. Make sure you know. I just picked it up and thought, oh, that's a quarter inch grid, not quarter inch grid. Um, Robert's tablet, I have to figure out how to turn it off. Hmm. There it is. All right. I'm going to leave it here and let it charge, though, because I put it in the bedroom the other day, and it was down to, like, 4% battery. Okay, so I don't know what that is. Oh, that was when I was, Robert was trying to describe to me what he was going to do in the backyard. <laughs> what the hell? All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and finish my own um, embellishments. Because I do want it to end about here. Make it look like that Mooka design. I like that design. You know what? And I'm not going to have those touch. I have them come close, but I'm not going to have them touch. So see, you learned how to improvise too. I don't know if I'm going to do something with that or not. All right, I'm going to have to go fix that faucet. Robert didn't get it shut off, and it's dripping. And that's annoying me. Hang on. BRB.
So I still haven't, I, well, I haven't checked Twitter since I've been on in an hour or so. Um, I haven't seen anything from Joycey, so if anybody knows or sees something from Joycey, let me know so I can get off. Because um, I don't want to be, <coughs> excuse me, stepping on her little toes. <coughs> All right, I've got some old, old typing or tracing paper in here. I use it. It's fine. There's an illuminated A I used at some point for something. All right. So now when you've got your design pretty much, well, at this point you want your design um, completed. You know, you don't want to be making changes after this because I'm going to go ahead and trace it to transfer it to the other side of the paper. Um, So get it as clean as you can because it's not going to be symmetrical if you don't do it now. In fact, I probably would go ahead and ink this at this point. Um, so that I knew I was copying the right line, right? You'll see here in just a second. Um, I am going to... Circles are funny things, and if you don't do the half circle right, boy, will you be able to tell when you um, do the tracing on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and get my circle just right now. It's surprisingly... Um, Surprisingly good. What the heck? How'd I dumb into that? But I do want that a, a accurate circle right there. So that's the thing about that. Certain things you, you'll learn with experience, that's for sure. All right. I think I'm... Happy with this. Just cleaning up things that I want right. Okay. So when you get your half of the drawing done the way you want it, um, clean it all up, get a handy dandy piece of tracing paper, and I'm going to go ahead and tape it on so I only have one goof up in this show and not two. <laughs> Duh. Nothing is yet from Joycey. If she cancels, she tweets nothing. Means she will stream. That's pretty much my um, feeling too. That if Joycey doesn't tweet, she chances are is going to stream. So last week it was about ten minutes before she was coming on that um, that she tweeted. So you never know until the last minute. Okay, so just draw over this, trace over your design, and use a, a good, um, actually at this point, I probably should be using the 7 um, graph gear, so I get a real good line. Okay. 
and I use HB lead in my graph gears. Um, HB is, I, I don't know, I always say it's about the equivalent of a um, number two, but it's, it's actually a little softer than a number two, but for all intents and purposes, it's about what you would get in a number two pencil. And this obviously goes a lot quicker. <clears throat> and I can do some cleanup after this, but for the most part, you want it as accurate as you can get it. I'm on camera, aren't I? Okay, good. So if anybody has suggestions about what I can do with this after I'm done, um, I'd like to do something just fun with the design. I don't want to just paint it or whatever. I'm really thinking about um, just circles. Filling the whole thing in with circles of one color and then the background of another. But I'll keep them, you know, somewhat uniform in size. That circle I'll end up having to draw later because I know it won't be right. All right, I think I've got it all. Oh, and I'll bring you guys back down a little bit so you can see. All right, now, um, Flip this bad boy right over, line it up, get the scotch tape off the other side. Line it right up as best you can. And it should be pretty darn easy at this point. And you're ready to copy the mirror image of your um, of your design. And you can do this on anything that you want a mirror image of. Um, it's cool. So um, yeah, a soft lead for drawing. Another thing is a soft lead um, is great for shading. You know, you want as, as soft a lead as you can do. I wouldn't go all the way to B, but um, yeah, soft lead is awesome for for shading as well. So now, now this is another weird thing. If I'm um, 
now that I've used my soft lead to get the image on there, I want to use a hard lead. Um, and I just had one. What did I? Oh, I know what it was out there. I'll get one. Um, I want to use a hard lead to copy that image off. Okay, and this is just a, a inexpensive paper mate disposable um, pencil. Dee Dee uses these for drawing a lot. This is, in fact, a number two, but it to me it's a really um, hard lead number two. So now I'll just copy right over. You can use a pen for this too. Either one will work fine. And when I'm done, I will have the mirror image and I can just ink it. And yes, somebody obviously had asked in chat, um, Zentangle a border. I could do that. I don't have much border room since I goofed up the box size, but that's fine. Um, I could actually Zentangle the, the image itself. But I was just thinking, I love, um, I can't remember what the Zentangle pattern is, but it looks like rocks, different size rocks. Um, and that's what I was thinking. I like to do really different kind of um, art for these because, of course, Rach is a mixed media artist, so hers are always um, mixed media. Um, and I'm sure most of the people who watch Rach are also mixed media artists. So um, there's a lot, a lot of mixed media um, art over there, and it's all awesome. I say that every time because it's so. Um, but then I like to do something different, you know, like drawing or something like that, because you don't see that very much over there. So, just like to be the oddball, you know. Yeah, I like that stone pattern. I like that a lot. And it's fun to draw. I mean, that, talk about mindless drawing. That is absolutely, utterly mindless drawing going on right there. And I could have also drawn this, you know, on top of a, um, say, a, any kind of background, paint, magicals, whatever. Oh, and I didn't tell you guys. Um, yesterday, I almost turned on the camera, and then I started watching YouTube videos and spaced that out. Um, but I took all my magicals and put them in the little shaker bottles, finally. I've been talking about doing it forever. I've had the bottles forever, or the little shaker containers. Um, but yesterday, I went ahead and finally did it. Talk about a damn mess. Oh, my God. Um, so, in that respect, I was glad I didn't have the camera on. But, yeah, I mean... If you saw the difference in the amount of space occupied... Jeez. 
I went from like a whole cupboard. I'll show you guys. I'll pull them out here in just a second because I'm almost done tracing this. All right, I think I got it all. So now when I pull this off, I should have a mirror image, exact mirror image design. Let me show you how much space my magicals take up now. You guys are going to be shocked. Because if you have the tubes, you know how much room they take up. Check this out. That is how much space my magicals take up now. That's it. And that probably is one that had two bottles in it because, honestly, like, in the regular bottles, okay, this is a color that I hadn't used much. That's about how much Magicals are in each one of those little tubs. Where's, do I have a tub somewhere? I thought I saved one. Well, here's one. Yeah, some of them that I had replaced, I had too much Magicals to fit in there. Um, okay. Okay. This is what the size of a tube, and you get five colors. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Five colors in a tube this big, okay? And these are the little pots that they were came in, right? And this one I had too much to fit in the shaker bottle, so I just left it in here. And then when I run out on here, I'll, um, I'll add them up. But look at how much space. And if you're wondering, okay, and what I did to solve the whole problem and for reorder purposes, if I ever reorder, I don't know. And you can see how dirty my hands got. But just for example, I took all of my swatches off of these tubes. I used to keep them on the tubes and put them on here. Okay, so I have a swatch of all the colors except one that I have put them in these little containers I made a little label of the color and wrote its name down and then on the top this is that um, tacky stuff you know what I'm talking about um, fast tack I think or something that you call it because after I melted the holes in here I, you know I, <clears throat> I knew I needed a cover for that so I thought why not just press fast tack on it keeps moisture out keeps them from spilling if I dump them over you can buy it anywhere and that me then they're easy to get in and out of right so I am gonna build a little um, storage container for these because they're tending to fall over in this crazy thing but really can you believe that that is all the magicals in that much little space and these are the shakers if you buy them these are the Lindy stamp gang shakers um, and honestly, if they would make the flats in these kind of shakers, I probably would just order individually each of the flats that I want. Because there's a lot of colors when you buy the, the sets that I'm not real crazy about. I obviously don't use a lot of red. Um, I love the browns, but anyway, so yeah, there's all my little shaker dudes. So I was glad that that little chore got done. And I did test them, and they work good. Um, I'm not going to have big blobs of color. Yeah, so. But another thing is I can always take that lid off and use a scoop just like I could out of those little pots, right? So there you go. All right. There's <coughs> my design. I have to darken it up, but before I do that, I want to decide, do I want to ink it? Um, are URLs open? I don't have a mod here, so I have to look. Um, yes, they are. Cool. Um, so now i got to decide, do I want to ink this in black? What do I want to do? Hi, Guinea Girl. <clears throat> what kind of what kind of kit did you make, Kangaroo?
All right. Deciding, deciding, deciding. Now, if I save that, I could make it. I could copy that as many times as I wanted as well. So now I've got to decide. Do I ink? I think I will do a real fine. I'll use my favorite. If it's here, it's here. This is a just a Pentel Hybrid Technica 03 nib um, black gel pen. I love these. They are my all-time favorite pens for writing, for um, drawing. The thing is, these are permanent if you give them a lot of time to set. Um, they won't be permanent right away. So, because I don't know what I'm going to do yet, I'm going to go ahead and use the Micron. They're permanent immediately. On the go mini art kit. Oh my gosh, is that what the um, YouTube link is? Have you shown it anywhere, Kangaroo, so I could see it? All right, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and, and ink this. If my pen would decide that it wants to write. How did I ruin a micron? Oh my god. I hate that. When I pick up a micron and I've ruined it somehow. How did I do that? Huh. I'll have to fight with it later. What did I do with my other? And then I organized the other day, so I won't know where anything is. That's a zero one. This is a microperm. It should be permanent. Let me double check. Permanent on most surfaces. It'll be permanent on this. Somebody you saw on Avid recently had her magicals in little plastic top tubes with a magic a matte pin in the top as a closure. Seemed to work well. Well, the thing is, I wanted mine to be shakers, um, Dorothy, so I had to melt all those little holes in the top, which all I did was use like a, a darning needle or something. This is, there's not enough cushion there for me. Sorry, I gotta get something else under there. And I still have all this marker paper laying here that um, I need to do tests on. I got so much to do. I'll take pics if you want. Yeah, I'd like to see it, kangaroo. Yeah, it would be nice in Boss too, wouldn't it? I believe I knew that, Lynn. Um, that Minnow Spirits on a stump will move um, graphite. I use that for um, colored pencils a lot. And I'm being a little careful, not enormously careful. I do want it symmetrical. So if I goof up on one side, I want to goof up on the other too. Come on, pen. If I wreck another pen, I'm going to be mad. The other day when I was reorganizing, um, I moved all my um, surplus pens and stuff. Because when I buy something like this, I might buy two of them or three of them. Um, 
yeah, I buy a lot of pens. But I got thinking, I know somewhere I have, somebody has asked for like a pen show. And I thought, you know what, I really should do that when I'm organizing my pens someday. All right, this pen is just about pissing me off now. I don't know why it wouldn't want to write on that. Oh, maybe I've just used it too much. Nothing pisses me off more than a pen that won't write. Ah! And I have a bunch. Okay, there's the 05 micro pen. Don't want that. I want the 01. Here's a 01 Zig. Let's try it. All these pens that sit here on my desk get a lot of use, so um, I'm not surprised that they run out. Maybe my pens just don't like me today. They feel neglected or something because this one isn't writing that great either. Maybe it's time for all new pens. What do you think? Okay, she took the matte pin out to shake. Um, so what, did she only have the one hole? That's, maybe that's what I'm not following. Is how did she use a map pen? Because mine have like six or eight holes in them, or maybe more. Are you talking about the pens, Heather? I wouldn't show you all of them, that would be like. I don't know, telling your dirtiest, darkest secrets. <laughs> All right, I've had it. I'll go with the zero 05 now, I guess. And just not press hard, because that... The zero ones really, it, and it might be the paper. They may just not like this Strathmore paper. I don't know. I will try them on some different drawing paper. I was going to say, if this 05 quits working, um, I'll know it's the paper. It's got to be the paper. This one's starting to want to skip, too. So for whatever reason, it's the paper, not the pen. Good, because that would mean I would be like three pens down on the day. That's a bad day. I don't know why it would matter. This Strathmore paper does have a lot of tooth, I will say that. Maybe why it was on sale at Hobby Lobby. People bought it once and never again, right? Only one hole, but it worked. Um, how I got the graph on the tablet. Yes, I did, Lynn. Um, I have a bunch of these sheets. You can make them real, real easy. Um, get a sheet protector or several um, and draw the grid on a sheet protector. 
and then you can slide your design down in there and line it up and just tape it okay and then you can have grids of different sizes I don't know I have one the one I used today obviously was 3 16th I have a quarter inch I have half inch I have full inch but you can make them whatever size you want so that you can resize um, the art that you're working from right you can go from say the the graph on the tablet was a quarter inch if you go up to half inch you're gonna double its size um, so that's one nice thing about drawing from a grid is you can um, you can resize any size you want makes it very nice for drawing Excuse me. So uh, I got a message from Z last night, and it doesn't seem possible, but she's just a week away now from going to Brighton Bay and doing her class with Jane. And gosh, when we left her, it seemed like that was such a long time that she was going to be alone. But yeah. Now she's just a week away. Doesn't seem possible. Because what now it's, yeah, it's two weeks today that I've been home. But I'm all back normal now. It's not like I'm fighting sleep all the time. And I don't have that feeling of complete exhaustion all the time. So there's my Damask image done. Yeah, that was a uh, tablet that I was using as a light box. Yeah, I just pulled up the image. I do that a lot. And I do it on my Kindle, too. Um... On the Kindle, I think that's why I ended up drawing that 3 16th inch. Um, size. Yeah, this one's 3 16th. Um, and I have a smaller one, too. I don't know where it is. It was right here a little while ago. Anyway, I cut one the exact size of my Kindle. And then I can blow it up on my um, sheet however big I want. I think she's just had so much fun, you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll bet she is getting excited. Do you take a photo of the page protector to get it on the tablet? No. No, I just... On the one for the tablet, it's just a single sheet of acetate that I got somewhere. I don't know. But you can just cut a, a page protector. Or um, go into Staples or any one of those places. You can get this nice clear acetate really inexpensive. And then use like a Sharpie, um, the thin line Sharpie. I should have one here. Of course, everything gets moved around all the time. Well, you know what I'm talking about. I can't believe I don't have one right here. I use them all the time. Probably the rat. I think the rat gets in my stuff when I'm not looking. But use one of those fine line, not this Sharpie, the finer line one. This is the fine point. I think they have a very fine. I'll find one. Um, to draw the lines on. And um, then let it sit. You can spray it with a fixative, though, too, um, so that you can't rub it off. If mine rubs off, I just draw it back. Um, yeah, and then you can, I just tape it on. And then when I'm done, get rid of the tape. 
And like here, where I've drawn the numbers on a, a particularly complicated piece of art, I might use the numbers to refer that I'm at 10 down, 12 across, whatever. Um, but yeah, these work great. You can put it on top of a piece of art, you can put it on a tablet, you can put it anywhere. So, yeah, I use those all the time. Okay, and, and Jean's saying there's a light box app that will put a grid on your photo. That's kind of good to know, too. <clears throat> so, now I've got to decide what I want to fill this in with. Has anybody checked Twitter lately to see if we've heard anything from Joyce? Um, I mean, I'm not going to stay on real long today either. Um, I need to be out cleaning up a couple of my gardens. Ugh. I just don't know what I want to do with them yet either. I feel like I'm getting such a late start this year, and I am. I mean, but my tomatoes and everything are in. My cucumbers are actually coming up. They came up like two days after I put them in. Um, I've got some lavender that I want to plant. Um, I've got a couple succulents that I want to get outside. Actually, that grid in the background of this was kind of cool looking. Probably should have inked it or something. But then just erase your grid, and your design is done. I'll look for that light box app too. So I don't know, I'm wondering if I should use like the little circles. I think it would be really cool. But if I do I want to do a black see I'm wondering if I should do this some kind of color and then the black all background. Um hi Orla. I don't want to do it all one solid color. I want to do it different. And I may not even end up using this for the prompt. I just thought it would be a good demo for you guys. Um, and I'm going to test all these pens. But I really think at this point it was the paper, not the, um, not the pens. Putting all my junk away real quick. Um, you know what I could do? I don't want to have to redraw this again. I'm going to go make a, a copy of it real quick and see if I actually like my idea. BRB. You know, another thing I could do at this point is, now that I've made a copy, is I could use this as a, a template to cut out pattern paper, and I could turn that into pattern paper. Um, so, yeah, she's going up to Byron Bay. Yeah. She, um, it's a week from yesterday that she travels up to Byron Bay and then she stays that weekend I think yeah it's still a couple weeks 
before she comes home because she'll be up in Byron Bay two or three days and then she goes back to Sydney um, I'm not sure why she had to travel back to Sydney but yeah she did so um, I'm gonna try doing the circle thing right now on this because I kinda like that idea but I have to decide what pen do I want to use that's always the problem in my life what pen do I want to use should it be black should it be colored oh, it's so hard being me I'm telling you I'm telling you okay this zig I think has no now see it's wanting to write what the heck you'd think I don't have any pens in this whole damn house right this one definitely it was the paper yeah see it's working fine Alright, when I look at this on the camera, it's hard to tell. It looks like I colored that in black when I really didn't. That's the problem, you know, like even after I finish this, I have to take a photograph of it, and the photograph never looks anywhere near what it looks like in real life. And it could be just because my phone's crappy. It's a good thing I'm not big on photos, right? Because see, when... That's it up close. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I don't know. Can you guys hear the um, mower running in the background? If you can, he's just letting it sit there and idle. I don't know why. Um, I'll tell him to go shut it off. Because he's out in the garage grinding something. Welcome, Mac. Have a great day. It's okay. Let the rat have fun. Oh my gosh, Whippy, another one standing up for the rat. Standing up for the rat. <sighs> I'm just flipping over to Twitter real quick to see if, if Joycey's streaming or if she said anything yet. I kind of assume she is. It's been really quiet on the streaming front, I have to say. I miss Carol TMT a lot. Wish her the best. Hope things are going well for her.
but I've been getting a lot done. I think I do like the circles. I really do. Um, you don't hear the mower, but you hear the grinder. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. And the garage, you guys, is probably 30 yards from the house. I mean, like, the garage is it's away, quite a ways from the house. I don't know if it's 30 yards. 20, 25 yards, anyway. Alright, I think I'm liking the circles. Alright, throw me out some other ideas. I don't want to just color it in solid. I know that. Another thing I thought is I could use my pens, all my very cool pens, and do like an ombre. Let's see, we'll do yellow, orange, pink, red, purple, blue, green. No, other green. have two greens. Alright, let's just do that. You're watching and coloring good. You do not hear either the mower or the grinder. Okay. <clears throat> they they do make it hard now, Whippy. Um, Whippy just mentioned something about um. She really had to search for my stream. Generally, when I put it up on Twitter, um, I put a link so that you know you can get here. I don't like the way the link works on Twitter though either. Um, but that's beside the point. But yeah, they have made it hard on, um, Ustream to find the people you follow now. So what I've done, Whippy, is when I'm at a stream, but then you've got to depend on your memory, which for me is damn scary, um, is to put it in my bookmarks, um, And then when I want to go back to somebody's stream, it's easy for me to find. But yeah, I wish Ustream hadn't taken that search or... Of course, I wasn't good with the search because I didn't remember people's channels' names. And their search feature never really worked for me anyway. But I had them in my following. But now I just keep them up in my bookmarks and it's much the same thing. Alright, just... To help my bad self, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so about five eighths, right? Yeah. I know you guys, if Eileen was here, she would be like, what are you doing now? Well, I'm trying to keep about the same bands of color. And you're just lucky you're not me because it's a sickness and it's hard to live with. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and bookmark the people you want. And actually, there is um, a blog spot. Yeah, they put it up there for you now, Kia and um, Dorothy. But I will caution you. One day when I did that, I got some BS and I had to like clean out my computer and restore to it when I was doing that. So just saying. I'm not blaming the person, but I was wondering if it was because I was using a different website. You know, a different country. I don't know. But anyway... I goof things up pretty bad. I know that. So now I just bookmark them. But there is a list that one of the fibs has created. I love these Paper Mate Flare pens for just doodling and drawing. They're awesome.
and I guess relatively inexpensive compared to some pens so Do you know which one I could clean it up? I don't remember which one I was using, Kia. Um, probably coincidence. Haven't had any other complaints. Okay. Um, you knows. I mean, I don't remember which one. I know it wasn't Dorothy's. Because um, I think hers was done later. Um, yeah, and see, I haven't been on Twitter long enough that I got that statement things you miss so I don't know if Joyce has been on or not yet um, but yeah it probably was a coincidence that things went to crap when I was doing that it was a hassle that day though and I was really pissed and I took it out on Ustream I mean I blame them I don't know, I might like this at the end of the day, this rainbow one. And I still don't know if I'll add a quote, I don't know, don't ask me, because I did this without a plan, so I don't know what I may or may not end up doing with the whole thing. I may end up scanning it and shrinking it, who knows, but... Mostly what I wanted to do was show you guys drawing with a grid and then making a mirror image of any um, design that you come up with. I might do it this way and then do the um, back in that rock background in black. That might be what I end up doing. And then may or may not end up adding a quote. I don't know. I like quotes. I like words on my art. I do like that. I have to say that. I like doing the lettering. Yeah. So I'll stay on for a few more minutes here until we hopefully hear from Joycey. But again, if we don't hear from Joycey, generally that means she is going to stream. I don't know that I'll be able to be at her stream today. I need to look at other, some other stuff I need to get done today. I don't think I have to leave the house, but I don't know. And I'm craving pizza again. Oh my god. Every day, all I want to eat is pizza. All day. That's got to be Robert's tablet updating. I think I'm going to take that from him anyway. He doesn't use it, and I probably would, so it may be mine now. He won't care. I really thought he would use it, you know, like so he wouldn't have to sit at his um, laptop. I really did. I thought he would use it. He hasn't used it. And I thought, well, because it's so much like his phone. Oh, Joyce doesn't look at tweets. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. That would be funny. No, Joyce doesn't do... Joyce does Twitter at her convenience, which is what we should all do. Um, but yeah, Joycey probably would not get a tweet, I don't think. It's just kind of an unwritten rule that if if um, if you don't see a tweet from Joyce, she probably is streaming. That's the way it's always been working. No, no, Eileen would be saying, "Why don't you just call it and dance?" <laughs> Because I like the circles. I like the way it looks. What kind of pizza? Smack and Dragon pizza. <laughs> oh my god, yes, Whippy. And do you guys remember? I don't remember what they were called. But they were, um, they were like bullet pens. Um, and they were about this long. Say, I don't know, about this long. Not very long, and they were they were no bigger than that, say, maybe slightly bigger than that, and they had the cap. Does anybody else remember the bullet pens, and they came in every color? Oh my God, they were more like ballpoint though. Ah, oh, I love those pens, and I wanted every one of them. I wish I could remember what they're called, but I can't remember. So now I'm just sitting here killing time because this is not the finished art. But looking at this ombre going down from yellow to red so far, I'm liking it. And my favorite kind of pizza, Heather, is um, Italian sausage and mushroom with extra cheese. I love me t some Italian sausage. And Robert's learned that that's his favorite too. <laughs> and I like thin crust. I'm not crazy about a thick crust pizza. But Jen made us, um, Pizzas at her house, oh my god, they were good. Real, real thin crust, like Aussie pizzas that have the burnt edges. And I didn't get that at first. It's like, why did you burn your pizza? But in Australia, I guess that's a thing. Mini art kit picks are up for those who are interested. Okay. You forget the name too? Yeah, I can't remember the name of them, but oh, they came in so many pretty colors. It was just like, oh, I love them so much. And the cool thing was they were small, so you could have all the colors. Well, I had to work to get them. Like, it wasn't like my mom and dad were going to buy me something like that. Um, and they were small enough you could carry them in your purse. Yeah, I don't remember the name of them, but oh my gosh, I love them. And they sold them. We had a little um, drugstore that had cool art supplies. Oh my gosh, I love that place called Yarbrough's. I would go to Yarbrough's and just drool over the pens. And then I'd wait until I could get a babysitting job or something so I could spend my money on um, pens and paper. This is something I've always done. The whole pen and paper thing, this is not new. This has been a lifelong obsession, addiction, yeah, this is not anything new. I've always, always done this.
only now as an adult I have more because I can afford more <laughs> and they're more expensive But paper and pens, oh my gosh, I've always just absolutely loved them. So is anybody else working on the rich? prompts. If I get this one done today, and I don't know if I will, but if I do, that means I'm only two behind then. Well, wait. No, two behind, yeah. And then I'll try and get it done later. Hey, CB! No, they weren't mini sharpies, Teresa. They were, um, they were, I don't even know how to describe them. I don't even know how to describe them. I'm just killing time here, CB, until Joycey comes on. Um, I just went ahead and drew this damask design, um, for the rage prompt. And now I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it now that I've got it drawn. Isn't that mermaid thing Aziz funny, CB? That girl, how the hell is she going to get herself home? I mean, it's beautiful and it's so Z and I, I'm i not the least bit surprised that she bought it, but I was like, oh my God, Z. Z bought and it is pretty. She found it as, at a um, thrift shop, I think she said. Um, it's like a mermaid statue made out of white glass, I guess. I don't know. Um, I need to finish this design because, yeah, this isn't going to work so well. Anyway, um, I don't know how the heck she's going to get that crazy thing home. She said she's going to leave her clothes there. <laughs> donate her clothes to a thrift shop, which is probably a really good idea because then you get to come home and get new. Let's see where we're at. Okay, we're getting close. Yeah, I'm sure everything she has. Um, yeah, I am filling it in with tiny circles. Don't ask me why, because I like little tiny circles. She should buy an extra seat on the plane. Yeah, I like the little bitty circles, too. Um, yeah, I don't know. Z's so funny. I mean, she can ship stuff home, but then your inexpensive find is no longer inexpensive because the post office is going to make you poor shipping it. That's the annoying thing. Yeah, I don't know how she's going to get her stuff home. But I know she's going to have so much fun. Um, I need to look at that. Let me see if it's on this. Okay, actually, um, and I'll change it on my original. Um, this line actually comes down here, and the circle ends it there. Okay, and say something on this is not right. But yeah, I just showed him how to draw this with a grid, CB. And um, and then do a mirror image with a tracing it.
So this is just a photocopy that I'm playing with now. You like the design? Yeah, well, it's kind of close to what I started with, but I had to leave parts of it off because of um, the grid. But just so you can see, there's the there's the version on the Kindle, and there's my hand-drawn version. So it's fairly close. I mean, I had to change down here because my um, square size was off. And see how the, the light from that totally changes the... That's why I couldn't have this um, in there. But yeah. So now you guys know that even though that looks very complicated to draw with a grid, you only have to draw half of it and you can make it look as good as that, right? Okay, Joycey is in the room getting ready. Alright, so we're going over to Joycey's. Um, I'm going to look at my list. Do I know if Jane has any new supplies? You will have to buy those also, just saying. Well, no doubt, CB. I'd like to think that Jane will give her some, um, considering what? She stayed for three weeks to take the class. Um, she's going to need a slow cargo ship, Teresa. Um, Joycey's link is, okay, yeah, Dorothy just got it for you. Thank you, Dorothy. Um, were they called Lindy? I think you're right, Carol. I think you're right that they were Lindy ballpoint stick pens. And they had the mini Lindys and the big Lindys. I think you're right. I'm going to have to Google that up. But I think you are absolutely right. They were something like that. Lindy stick pens. Oh, I'd give anything if I could find those today. Anyway... Yeah, I wouldn't bet on Jane giving anything away either, but um, thanks for coming, you guys. Head over to um, Joycey's. Her link is in the chat, and if you've watched this on YouTube, um, thank you very much. Um, and I will get that other one from the other day up. I totally forgot about doing that. So, yeah, I'll get that other one up. But thanks for coming, you guys, and we'll catch you next time.